It's that time again. Welcome back to Ridiculous Novelty Attacks with the one and only Zedmont. What we're going to be doing today on the one and only imitation game is we're going to be using War on Ears. Now, way back when Crying Ears first came out, I thought maybe this would be a good combo because uh, we got some healing power with the Warriors. They self-heal. We've got the Crying Ears slowing things down. Turned out not quite the case, but... Nonetheless, we're going to give it a shot, and we're going to use Brick and Battle Orders, and it's going to be completely, completely ridiculous. I do not recommend doing this at home or anywhere else for that matter. So what we're going to do is they all run about the same speed, and that's part of the reason why I figured Cryoneers might be good with Warriors, just because they're going to run at approximately the same speed. Brick's going to run at approximately the same speed. And look at this. I mean, generally, you'd think, hey, maybe this troop combo might work, and you would be completely and utterly wrong. Uh, now, obviously, if Brick kept up and didn't stay behind, this combo might have a chance at being not crappy. See, the Warriors are a little bit faster than Cryos, um, but slowly but surely they should catch up on the future attacks. I will try and flare them a little bit closer to buildings just because obviously you want your cryos to be there when the smoke clears, when the dust settles. But look at that, no losses on stage one against Squiggle McGee. Stage two, I think we have a squiggle name as well. I think this is actually five stages. You know what? Let's do us do a full on Nick at night. We'll get the cryos up front. We will, just to show the sheer power that is Cryoneers, or Warrenears, or um, we'll start to see some beams. I believe these might be maxed Cryoneers, I think. I can't remember, I can never keep these things straight, but the beams look fairly long, so I'm going to assume that they are maxed. That's how you can tell. It's the law, the, um, it's one of the cool things about uh, Cryoneers is the higher the level, the longer their beams are, and the more stuff they freeze. Uh, I'm going to leave the... Um, freezing puns to Arnold Schwarzenegger but uh, you get the idea they are freezing stuff and warriors are just crushing things I'd almost be tempted to include a boat of medics uh, just to make it even more ridiculous but I'm just gonna let the uh, warriors self-healing do its job so um, we're gonna drop the cryos first because they are a little bit slower then we'll drop the warriors in behind. I don't know if that I used battle orders that last time. Maybe, maybe not. This guy's named something backwards. Just his name is quite strange. That's got to be like a cannot be a native English speaker. I don't think uh, Arf Harold does not sound like an English name, but you never know. Um, so let's get some more battle orders out. Just everything. Actually, not everything. There we go. Now everything is frozen. And we lost three warriors on stage three. Not bad. I mean, this is the attack that Nick at Night should have been done. Heavy Zooka is good, but if you want to do a Scorched Earth, you need to freeze it first. And, uh, oh, see, these are the mine pat. Like, look at these mines. These mines were designed for a Nick at Night style attack. There's no other reason why they wouldn't be there. Because those mines are so ridiculous, it's silly. Oh, Cryoneer's getting hit, though. Look at this. Um, oh, the grappler. Need to shock that grappler or it's going to be annoying. And uh, we will have warriors in the middle, in the heart of uh, Squiggle Name's base, and that would not be good. I kind of assume we'll be able to take this out in seven straight attacks. Stage um, stage seven wasn't terribly... I don't think there's any boosted ice anywhere on Imitation Game today. So we're just going to run right through it, run rampant. I think that's like, is that a Hulk Hogan? No, that's um, Macho, Macho Man? Who said run rampant? Uh, Golden Stone would know. He is Mr. Um, pop culture of the 80s and 90s kind of guy. Oh, a Doom Cannon maybe might slow down the Warrenears. We will find out. Gonna clear some of these mines, drop some critters, and then just everything explode out. Feel like uh, we. I feel like we need to get all. Look at this. Like everything is just frozen to a crisp. Love it. Gonna keep that uh, shock launcher shocked. And you'll note that I am boosted. This is not an unboosted attack. 
I used to do unboosted all medics and silly things like that, but since they brought in the, um, what is it called, imitation game, they, they reduced the number of attacks, I have um, slowed down the silliness factor. I mean, you don't want to fail, obviously, and I just happen to be boosted at the time that it drops, so, uh, so be it. I don't think we've, we've, we've not lost many troops. This is just showing the sheer power of Warrenears. One of the most underutilized troop combos in all of Boom Beach for certain. Um, I was going to get rid of the shock launcher, but what's the fun in that? Let's just go like this. Critters and things. Warrenears doing their jobs. That shock I don't I don't like shock blasters at all. Shock blasters are number two behind uh, lasers as far as things that I do not like, but they are a far far distant second. I have to say that lasers are number one on the list by far. I mean, if as long as you don't include um, as long as you don't include shock shield generators, I'm so sick of shield generators. But at least they don't shoot back. That's that's my number one thing. Lasers just melt your face, and don't say sorry, and don't stay for breakfast. So, stage six against combats. Thank you to all of you who told me combat's name earlier in the day. Uh, there we go, stage seven. I mean, war and ears for the win so far. Um, oops, I'm a little bit late on the drop, but we should be able to make up for this. I'm going to assume that this person has the um, tribal boost on their rocket launchers and keep those things shocked. Don't actually know. Um, far too lazy to scout and check these things. But I'm losing warriors fairly quickly here. Need to get into uh, this and this. There we go. Oh, everything's... nothing's moving. Let's go, ladies. Get moving. I guess there's actually dudes, too. Never mind. Not just ladies. Uh, it's kind of strange. It's like reverse sexism in Boom Beach. There's so many female characters, and it's crazy. I wonder what the, cause the tank driver's female, the um, Zookas, Cryoneers, the heroes, except for Dr. Kevin Kavan, of course. Um, I don't know. I wonder, I'm curious what the count is on male characters versus female characters. It's got to be somewhat close, I would think. I am going to fail, though. This is going to be a fail and I'm not gonna jiggle my screen because that annoys the crap out of people. I'm trying my best. I like to zoom in and out when I'm playing but I know it annoys the crap out of you so my sincerest apologies if I'm zooming too much. Give me crap. I will fix it. I may be old but I can learn new tricks. Okay so stage seven did not get soloed by Warrenears. I probably should have smoked to the back or something like that. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Let's go, we're gonna drop the Cryoneers on the left. Uh, we'll drop Brick with them. I assume Brick is about their speed, because I think they're marked as medium, I think, both of them. And I'll flare to the very, very back. And then once they get off the beach... Could you imagine wearing those parkas on the beach? Like, come on, ladies, you gotta know the season. Check the weather report. Don't use AccuWeather though, they sell your information. Um, let's get into this general area and then we're just going to explode. This is the, this is what I should have been doing. This is what I love about Warrenears. Watching them simply explode out of the uh, smoke right about now. That's what I like to see. That's the money shot right there. Everything else doesn't really matter. I should have been, I should have done way, way more of that though. I apologize. Them exploding and with RCZM and all that as well, obviously. But uh, that's what I should have been doing. Sort definitely a missed opportunity there. Um, I can't even throw all my smoke GBE. Damn it! That, but that is my ridiculous attack on imitation game. Let me know if you have any suggestions of attacks you'd like to see, whether it's gung ho or. Uh, maybe not all medics, because that's, that's, that's tough, but uh, if you have a suggestion of a troop combo you want me to use, please throw it out there. If I pick your attack, I will give you a shout out and an internet cookie and whatever else I can think of. That's all I got. Great to have you. Thanks for coming in. Peace!